Hello YouTube, it's DuConRed1 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. We're going to be building a logging camp today on this terrain and I just thought that this was a great place. It's next to a build that I've been doing and um, I'm going to be building the logging camp here and what we're going to do is just do it in one video and it's going to be more of an update kind of thing. We're going to be doing some building on screen. So anyway, let's go ahead and start planning what we want to do. So my idea is I want to have a natural spring coming out of this mountainside and I want to sort of come down the hill, connect with this little pond that's there and it would come down here and then there's like a little diver, like where it would n naturally flow would be down this hillside here and into the, the creek here. But what's going to happen is they're going to have like a little dam and it's going to divert it this way. And then there's going to be the mill here with a water wheel, which is going to cut the uh, logs into timber and such. So let's go ahead and plan that, see what we wanna do. So uh, first of all, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and build a sort of plan where we wanted to go. I think that this approximately right here is a good good place to sort of start the spring. Um, maybe sort of make like a little plateau kind of thing where it sort of like collects out of the rock and then it would spill off and then come down like a little waterfall thing down here. Connect to this and then it would go this way. So then we're gonna have it go down this way. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these trees. So don't worry about trees right now. Um, and then it's gonna stop here. And then it's going to divert, divert this way. And I think that maybe here, maybe, yeah, maybe here would be a good place for the water to come down. We're just gonna have to work on figuring out how we want to uh, build that um, which we call it the uh, the mill because I haven't figured out a design yet. So then, what's going to happen is the natural stream bed is going to go down this way, where it's going to connect with the river. So we're just going to build sort of like a little river bed, little stream bed coming down, and then it'll connect to right there, and then that'll sort of wash out. And then uh, I'm going to have to remove some of these trees, obviously, to make room. So the idea is uh, that I want to have lots of tree trunks all along here and more or less open terrain and then lots of lots more trees sort of like compact out in the forest area. So let's go ahead and work now on the mill and decide how we want that to be. Uh, so I want this to sort of dig down like this is going to be a more like a little ditch here and then the building is going to come out right here and it's gonna come like that I think that's a proper size make sure it's eat or make sure it's odd there we go and that looks like it'll work just fine and as long as we can make the water wheel work correctly so like it'll come out here and then we got to make like a little wheel thing so say one two three four I think four is plenty enough and then we can just do this so then it can be like that, and then this would be the water wheel. And this is all gonna be dug out here so that the water will catch this, and then it will spin, and then that will power the uh, mechanism that will um, move the saw blade. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go off camera and go ahead and finish this little stream bed and then I'll come back and we'll go ahead and continue. Alrighty, so the, I have come up with the basic design of the terrain. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've done. So as I have said, what the happens is there's a spring up here and that's where the water comes from. It's a steady flow of water, it flows down this way and the natural stream is supposed to flow down this little uh, place here and that's actually where the overflow goes say during a storm or something of that sort but what they did is they made a divert and they basically took all the dirt from here and they made a dam in between um, here and there so that the water would divert this way so the idea is is that it would flow this way onto a sort of um, aqueduct and then it would pour onto the wheel and spin it this way 
Now this would go this this side and this would operate the mechanism in order to um, operate the uh, the bandsaw that we're going to be working on. So in this recording what we're going to be doing is actually making the sawmill here and uh, So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab some spruce wood because that is the main wood that we're going to be using and um, We're going to go ahead and start building this now be prepared It's going to take probably a little while for me to be able to build this whole thing. So just give me some time to to be able to do it and um, you know settle in but what we're going to be doing is a lot of off-screen stuff I'm gonna be building the mill but uh, the majority of like the places where people would live and the surrounding details and such I'm gonna do that off-camera the entire reason we're doing this video is just for the logging mill where the um, where they would make the the wood basically where they would uh, cut the wood up so yeah so the idea what I'm doing now is I'm going with a modular design and it's really difficult to see in the water and shaders but uh, whatever but yeah I'm making a modular design I'm making a very basic mill design like this is something you would see anywhere anyway I'm gonna go ahead and turn shaders off because I need to see um, so we're gonna go ahead and build it right there I think there okay and then we're gonna go ahead and build one here as well right up through there all right so I think I know what happened is um, underneath the water I I'm gonna have to fix this later but yeah that's a problem anyways we're gonna fix that later so the idea is is we're just going to be doing this here um, let me go ahead and connect these and that is going to be the floor to our mill. I'm pretty sure that that is a good height. Um, I'm hoping it's a good height. If it's not, then I'm going to probably have to move it up some more, but that is hopefully not going to have to be the case. So the idea now is we're going to have to dig all of this out. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is use world edit. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some shaders so that you guys are, there we go. Perfect. Um, so that you guys can see. This is, by the way, the Jamzy Edit Shader Pack. Uh, this is Jamzy Boy's uh, Shader Pack. It's a uh, remake of the Coco Pick. Actually, that is too low. So what we need to do is go from here to up there. But yeah, anyway, the, it's really nice because it's really great to build in. And uh, that that's the reason why I use it is because it is a great... Um, building shader pack so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and stone this up right there um, I'm gonna set four eight for now it's not mandatory for me to really worry about that to be honest right now uh, basically all we're going to be working on is trying to get this mechanism to be believable and I think I have a believable mechanism in mind and I think it's going to work really well um, and I'm gonna try to explain it to you the best I can but the entire reason of a wood mill is basically to saw down the the raw logs because logs are you know obviously you know would need to be cut down into boards and such things of that like that and so the reason why you would have a mill would be to cut those logs into usable lumber that you can use in your house for floors for walls you know there's all kinds of uses you can use you know just go to um, you know Lowe's or Home Depot and look at all that wood and that's used you know, obviously made by saws you know you got to saw down the logs in order to become like um, you know that to get to that state but obviously in the medieval period they did not have um, a Lowe's or a Home Depot to make their wood so all of what they had to do was they had to find a natural way to produce kinetic energy in which they could um, use to operate a bandsaw to cut the wood and so it was just logical to use water power because it's natural, it's uh, continuous, and you know, some smart medieval person said, hmm, I think I want to try to use water power. And so that's what they did. And voila, water mills were created. 
Now, um, like some of you would say, I would say that some of you, not all of you, but some of you would probably, uh, the most recognizable water mill that she, or uh, yeah, logging mill that you guys would be able to, to see would be from um, Skyrim. The Skyrim water mill, you'd see those all over the place. Skyrim is one of those games that's just nostalgic. Like it's just something that you always kind of uh, use as inspiration. It's just, there's so much in Skyrim that just is so inspiring in Minecraft and just really anything in general, to be honest, uh, as far as creativity is concerned. But um, yeah, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just building the cross section and I'm just getting the whole thing built up. And um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is, actually no, we're past that point already, but um, I'm, I was going to time lapse getting this floor done, but that's just what it is. So there we go. Now we got the basic design done. That's what we got, and that's what we're going to use. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and build this up one more so that we have some height between the saw and uh, the rest, just like that. Now I'm planning on the saw to be right here. I think that this is a good spot for the saw. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna have to have some more height. Yeah, we're gonna have to have some more height. Right about there, I think, is where the saw is gonna have to be. So that cross section is going to be the place where the band saw is actually uh, set in to the um, actual, the actual uh, structure is this is what's going to hold it all together and keep it from uh, you know causing any problems because um, obviously since the the bandsaw will be in constant motion up and down it will need plenty of support to keep it uh, keep the structure from compromising and falling apart into many pieces which I don't think would be very good because um, I'm sure building something like this in the medieval period would be rather expensive. So we're going to just go ahead and do a typical A-frame roof. Uh, I think it's the best thing to do for this. And my goodness, did I? I did. Well, that's a whoops. There we go. We're just going to have to go one more out, just like that. All right. And we're going to go up. And that's where it's going to meet right there. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse, time lapse this really quick. Alrighty guys, so I want to make sure you know that I'm not going off of any prior design. I'm building this offhand and completely impromptu. And the reason I'm doing that is a lot of you have asked me to build impromptu because you want to see my thought process as to why I choose to do certain techniques and uh, why I do certain things. And so that's the reason behind this and that's why it seems a little disorganized as far as the tutorial is concerned. But uh, I'm hoping that you, in the long run, just get the idea of what I'm doing. I don't want you to copy block by block of what I'm doing. What I want to do is explain to you the process to get there. And uh, in that process, hopefully, is considered a tutorial for you guys. So anyways, we got our frame now and the design of our, um, is the design of our water mill is pretty, you know, apparent is what we want to do. So what we want to do now is sort of decide on how we want the system to go. Um, so we got the basic design for the water mill and all we need now is the, uh, the system to figure out um, or how the system would work. So let's go ahead and do this really quick. First of all, I want to make sure that this is well supported in there. And then this is going to be the system that will bring it over to the, um, to the hole where the bandsaw is going to go through. So let's go ahead and do that. And then right here, what we're going to do is go down one, over, up, and over again. 
and then right here is going to be the end and this is where it's going to be the pivot where it's going to uh, be anchored into pretty much so we want to make sure that this is strong very strong and obviously it looks pretty strong as it's built into the wall there uh, we're going to go ahead and make this into iron because uh, again iron is the uh, you want it to be able to spin in here so this would be basically a um, just basically a roller that would just uh, make it so that this is easy to roll around and such so here we go we got ourselves the bandsaw now we want to make sure this is iron there we go that's iron and then we want to go up like this with a iron bit now again this is rather impromptu so I'm doing this just off the top of my head and hopefully this will work so the idea is that this thing this entire thing would spin around and around now this here is um, basically is wrapped around like this is a strong piece of wood through and then there's like an iron um, cylinder that's wrapped around the log here and then on the cylinder is a uh, piece basically the cylinder would freely uh, spin as it's going and it would be in uh, a, um, basically you know as it would be with the bandsaw so it would be like a separate system so the idea is is we're going to go ahead and build this out one here and one here so this is not going to touch down here as this is turning around this is turning and this is what pushes it up and down up and down etc and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and do that and we want to actually go out to here and then we're gonna do this there and then let's go ahead and work on this bandsaw that is going to go up through the hole here so there we go um, again I'm using uh, for those of you that don't know I am using the conquest resource pack by monsterfish it is an extraordinary resource pack that uses um, metadata in order to um, bring a lot more immersion into the game and uh, it's just been an, an absolutely amazing experience and I would encourage you to try it out for those of you that haven't tried it out definitely I would definitely encourage you go try it out so now that we have that down now this is basically the structure that would hold it all together this is what keeps the bandsaw from all falling apart and you know causing all manners of issues and uh, keeps it all together so we're just gonna go ahead and do this up to here there we go so it's on its low cycle so we want to make sure that it's relatively low just like that and now this is going to go across here and that's where the bandsaw is anchored into so we want to make sure that that is iron as well so something solid for its anchor um, just like that and then that is what would uh, anchor the bandsaw in so as this whole thing is turning the this entire setup um, moves up and down with it again as the water wheel is um, spinning so there we go and now in here what I'm going to do is do a uh, basically you want to do a runner system so that it looks like that there's something that this entire system runs in so that it doesn't shake all over the place so what I'm going to do is just do a basic wood design like that all right and we're gonna do that that and we're gonna do the same thing over here now the rest of the design of this uh, structure I'm going to do a time lapse of the idea of this video is to give you a basic um, overview on how to build the actual logging, um, the actual system. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is separate this into two videos. So what we did the first video is we did the terrain and we worked on the system. Um, we still got to do the detailing, detailing and such like that, but um, that's pretty much you know straightforward. Uh, and it's not really the purpose of this video but anyways um, I think that this is pretty good right now I think I'll keep adding a few more things in maybe 
maybe that. Uh, this is just kind of detailing kind of thing, just to make the system look a little bit better. And I think that that works out pretty good. Um, yeah, this entire thing would go up and down, up and down, up and down, and all that good stuff. So uh, I feel like there could be more to it. But anyways, yes, that is my uh, logging camp design right there. And this is just part of one of the uh, of this um, let's build a logging mill thing. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys will enjoy seeing the next one. The next one, we're going to get a lot more done. Uh, but there's going to be a lot more detailing, a lot more getting things done. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments below your ideas and let me know what your thoughts are of this mill. Uh, the system, that's all we're talking about is the system right now. And then uh, we'll get into the more advanced things, or not the more advanced, this is the advanced thing, but we'll get into the more interesting things next episode where we will actually add in more, uh, um, you know, things around and we'll actually build the structure more and make it look a lot more interesting. So cool beans, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that I have a Facebook and a Twitter. Go follow me over there and uh, stay connected with me. And I am playing the Raven.org server. And I'm using the Conquest Resource Pack by Monsterfish, and it utilizes a feature called Metadata. Um, so yeah, cool beans. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you around. Bye bye. <laughs>